Hi there, I was making some hydrogen uh, in this uh, glass of water yesterday and uh, I got the question, one of them is uh, how far do you get the car to drive with hydrogen, how much does it weigh? I think those are questions that you really shouldn't be asking. You should, uh, you should be wondering, uh, should I use hydrogen in cars? And I simply disagree with that. You should not try, try to use hydrogen uh, uh, stored in a gas tank in a car. Uh, it has all kinds of drawbacks, it's very expensive. You can simply use ammonia. I think if you spend all the money that we are now spending on, uh, on uh, trying, to, trying to solve these problems of hydrogen. Uh, if we spend it on uh, trying to get the ammonia infrastructure in place, then we would probably have to spend less and we would have more mobility because all the diesel engines are easily converted into ammonia engines. I guess all the gasoline engines have a little bit of a problem because ammonia uh, doesn't ignite uh, as easy as, uh, as diesel does, so you really need high pressure. So that's my answer. Don't try to drive a car with hydrogen. It's nonsense. Uh, but you can do something else with hydrogen that I found out, which is very interesting for people that have solar panels and uh, then do not have a good feed-in tariff or uh, arrangement. And that is you can make from water uh, using uh, simply two nickel electrodes, uh, you can make uh, hydrogen. Of course, that's obvious, that's what I'm talking about. But you can then use it to heat your uh, uh, cooking uh, stuff to cook. Very simple. And uh, one of the questions was, what's the efficiency of conversion? Uh, it's about 85 to uh, 94 percent uh, uh, in any case, because what, what, what happens if you, uh, uh, you know, put electrons in, in water? Uh, you basically uh, facilitate the splitting of the water, and the more current you put in, the more water you split. There's no, there's, it's so efficient, just like LED light is very efficient, what happens, you have photons or electrons moving through a material and some of them turn into photons if there's enough energy available. So, uh, uh, so, and that's it. There's no optimization there. In LEDs it's only because the light has to get out and you can make sure that it gets out better. And with, uh, with uh, electrolysis it's only that you uh, want to uh, make sure that the electrodes don't uh, rot away or rust because it's, uh, it's electro, uh, let's say electrochemical reaction, redox. And uh, metals can dissolve if you want to. Uh, and uh, so you have to use nickel, apparently. Problem solved. Your uh, hydrogen electrodes will have to be nickel or they will dissolve in the water. And uh, they usually say, well, you have to use uh, distilled water. Uh, I guess that's the best uh, thing to do, because otherwise you get uh, the salts that are starting to accumulate on your, on, your, uh, on your electrodes, because they can also split. Or they can also find, uh, you can make na uh, natrium, or na sodium it is, and chloride gas if there's too much salt in your water. And that's what you smell if I try to do the electrolysis in this glass, but it makes it easier. Long story short, what you should be doing, I think, is cook or with hydrogen. Because then you have uh, your hydrogen, uh, your solar panel is used to split uh, water into hydrogen, oxygen. You simply store the hydrogen in a one atmosphere uh, uh, gas bag. You don't need to compress it and put it in a tank. Uh, uh, because you have to figure out what will the, be the size of the, of, 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 of the volume of the gas that I have, that I create in one day. And I've been calculating it, it's about, uh, well, if, you're, if you end up with uh, one cubic uh, uh, meter, I think that's, uh, oh, that's quite a lot uh, of cubic feet, uh, but uh, uh, if you have so much gas in one day, it's a miracle, and then you have been doing very well in terms of sunshine, and you have a lot of solar panels. What you can do with that cubic meter of, of hydrogen gas is cook uh, 10 liters of water. So you can get uh, very cold water, 10 degrees, to boil uh, 10 liters of it uh, with that hydrogen. And that should be enough to cook your meal, basically. If you have so much uh, heat energy, uh, then you should be able to f you fry eggs, you, you cook uh, uh, rice, you cook your vegetables, uh, and you can cook it, uh, well, you divide by two, you can cook it like, uh, or by three, for the, one for the eggs, one for the vegetables, and one for the uh, rice. You can cook it three times uh, with the gas that you have. All you need to do this is a solar panel, uh, nickel electrodes, uh, water that is quite pure, it uh, doesn't have to be super pure. And you can also electrolyze uh, salt water, but you get dirty electrodes. Uh, you have to have a big uh, plastic bag. Uh, these bags leak 
the hydrogen. It's not a problem, it's not that much. And uh, the thicker the bag, the less uh, leakage you get, and so you have to put it outside. Put a little weight on it. And then you hook it up to your, uh, your, your butane uh, burner, your gas burner, your regular burner. And it should work. I'm gonna definitely uh, going to try it. And so the question becomes for many people with solar panels, is how can I easily store this hydrogen that I make during the day? And then I don't feed in uh, back to the net. I, I don't have all the trouble with the taxes in Holland. Uh, I don't have, uh, I use less natural gas. And uh, when I'm cooking, I have no carbon dioxide uh, emitted, uh, clear uh, fumes, uh, steam basically, which you might be able to use actually uh, to heat. And, uh, and it's a much better solution. I'm going to try it as soon as possible to uh, get the whole rig uh, set up to do uh, cooking with hydrogen. And uh, forget about uh, driving with hydrogen, uh, that's complete nonsense. And I hope you uh, follow my uh, videos. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you want to support me, you can donate to the website I linked to next to this video. I will be posting about cooking with hydrogen. I made an information page which is also linked next to this video. Thanks for listening.